the purpose of audio scheduler is to play automated um, messages, typically over an overhead paging system. So some use cases could be, for example, the school bells for recess and the start of school and the end of school, that kind of stuff. Um, shift changes at a manufacturing facility. So typically they'll blow a big horn that says, okay, all you manufacturing guys, it's time for a little break or time for shift change, those kinds of things. Um, maybe something like airport announcements, the yellow zone is for loading and unloading or don't take packages from people you don't know, those kinds of things. These are just automated messages that um, just happen on a scheduled basis. Uh, store closings might be another example. So we're finding that uh, 3 6 partners and customers are finding all kinds of different uses for this tool. So let me show you how this works. Um, so let's pull up Audio Scheduler. This is one of the few applications that we have that is uh, still a Windows application. Um, we'll, we're in the process of converting all of our tools over to be web applications because we're now offering hosted hosting services to our VoIP tools customers. If you don't want to host it yourself, um, we'll happily spin up a VM for you on, on Amazon and um, administer all these tools um, for you. So we'll do the installs, the updates, monitor the CPU and disk and memory utilization and um, do the Windows patches and all those things for you. And it just happens. And we do monitor all this stuff in real time. So you'll notice there's a little agent here. This is a backup agent that um, pushes all of the backups up to another cloud service. So backups are also included. And then we have another agent that runs in the big background that monitors the CPU and all of those kinds of things. And that goes to a central console. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back to uh, audio scheduler. So perhaps the most instructive thing to do would be to take a look at an existing one. So I'm going to edit this one here and let's take a look. What should become apparent to those who have spent much time working with Windows is that this is a scheduled task. So we're using the Windows scheduled task feature to execute an action at a specific time. So you can go in here and you can set triggers for when do I want this to run? Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, every 15 minutes, whatever you want. It's a very flexible tool that's part of Windows. And what this does is it runs a little executable that we created. And this little executable only has two parameters. What's the extension number that I'm going to dial? And what is the WAV file that I'm going to play? This other one is for logging stuff. But that's pretty much it. And the beauty of this application is because this is a scheduled task, it's built into Windows, it's been used for 30, 40 years, um, it has had millions of people testing it, it's rock solid. This thing just works, it always works, and it's kind of a set it and forget it thing, and you never have to deal with it again. So um, this, uh, this, this tool is actually nothing more than a wizard to set up all of the necessary settings to make this happen. So you can upload um, your own recordings. Um, in fact, you have to upload your own recordings. Um, so it, it says whatever you want. You know, loading zone is only for loading and unloading and you'll get towed, those kinds of things, right? So again, schools, airports, stores, manufacturing facilities, these are all potential use cases for setting up audio scheduler. Um, it can use text-to-speech. It can... Uh, it can do, um, this is where you upload files. Um, this is where you specify the dial code in 3CX if you want to have it uh, auto answer the calls. So um, we can page uh, paging ring groups, we can page overhead uh, paging systems, we, 
we can um, call an individual extension. That's up to you. There's a lot of flexibility in how this works, but that's basically what this guy does. Plays automated messages at the scheduled times. Um, you set the schedule and then you just let it go. So with that, guys, I'm going to say thank you for your time. I do appreciate it and um, look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.